I'm re-prepping his teeth. You can see the decay that's into that in the red right here. This was a hyper hyperemic tooth, so we're going to perform endo on that cuspid. My feeling about endo is if you have a hyperemic tooth, you want to perform the endodontics before you seat the crown. You don't want to have to come back and make a hole in the crown and perform the endodontics because you're going to compromise the crown. So if a, especially in one of these comprehensive cases, if you if you know how to do good endo, if the tooth is hyperemic, meaning it's very sensitive, before the procedure, the crown prep is not going to make a tooth less sensitive. If anything, it's going to be more sensitive. So do the endodontics at the same time you do the crown. So when you seat, once you seat the crown, the tooth is not still hyperemic and you have to make a hole in the crown, which compromises the longevity of the crown. Do it before you seat the crown. Always like a chamfer margin on crowns. Read of that, I asked my technicians what margin they like. And they said they prefer a chamfer to a shoulder. So I haven't used a shoulder in a long time. I use a chamfer margin for crown preps and a small chamfer for veneer preps. This is the real world endo method I use. I really like it. The key to endodontics is cleaning it and irrigating it real well because if you use rotary instruments, everybody is going to get a separated file from time to time, meaning the file, the rotary file is going to break off in the canal. You're going to have a curved canal and you think you've opened it enough for the rotary file, but it's, it binds and it breaks. So my experience in 40 years of doing endo is if you filed and cleaned the canal, you file it with a hand file, you've done the crown down technique and opened the canal and cleaned to the, within half a millimeter, the apex of the canal and irrigated it real well. I use three to one water, three parts water and one part sodium hypochlorite. If you've cleaned it, filed it and irrigated it well and then separate a file, it's not a crisis because it's like a sealed canal with a silver point. Hello, this video is a small portion of a complete comprehensive video. If you'd like to see this complete comprehensive case and many other complete comprehensive cases, click on the link in the description below. Okay, so I'm filing with a 15 Hedstrom file. I like Hedstrom because they, they cut well and I'm measuring and that's 0.5. Once my apex locator has indicated I'm within half a millimeter of the apex, then I come back with either sequential rotary files or you can use this XP3DS single file and it does all the filing and it'll file to a size 30. You can go either way and then I'm irrigating lots of lubrication, the 3 to 1 water, the sodium hypochlorite, a lot of endodontists use straight sodium hypochlorite. I was taught to use dilute because you don't want to have a sodium hypochlorite accident and it go through the apex of the tooth and damage the inferior alveolar nerve. So you're not squirting this into the canals hard. You're not putting pressure on it. You're just squirting it into the coronal part. The rotary files take it down into the canals, but that's why you want to do crown down. You want to open the coronal part of the canal first so it will hold the irrigating solution. It just pools in there. And then when the files go into the canals, it takes this dilute sodium hypochlorite with it. You can see it's right at the apex, just a little bit shy of the apex, which is perfect. I'm going to irrigate once again without pressure. That's not, it's just very lightly in the canal. Then I'm irrigating with the 30 gauge uh, needle and local anesthetic. There's nothing magic about the local anesthetic. Many of you have asked me, why does it have to be local anesthetic? It doesn't. The thing you're using is the 30 gauge needle fits perfectly in that open canal and it just happens to go with the local anesthetic. So you're using the local anesthetic to rinse out the dilute sodium hypochlorite and any other debris that might be in the canal. Then you're going to blow some air in there just very gently and then come back with the paper points and dry it. Then I'm going to place just, you're not going to put pressure on the BC sealer. You're just going to put it in the orifice of the canal and then put the gutta percha cone to place. And I'm going to sear it 
with the Endo Pro heating element and then just put some light pressure and sizeling and then place some, I like to place IRM in the orifice just because it's simple. It's worked for me for over 40 years, but there's the Endo. That's the Dental Minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you feeling stuck? You know you have more to offer and you can elevate higher in your dentistry practice, but you just don't know how to do it. Well, great news. DentistryMasterclasses.com is here for you. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, Dr. Kerberth is offering his greatest work and his best cases. Here's everything included when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. You will get incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos, and the Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference. You will get before and after pictures of Dr. Cutper's fantastic restored cases. And guess what? All of this is 40 bucks a month. That's right, 40 bucks a month. This is an opportunity you cannot miss. Go to dentistrymasterclasses.com and subscribe today.